Welcome back to Digital Lean Management, where we digitalize, automate, and augment with AI the Lean Management Toolbox using Microsoft Tools. Today we're diving into a topic that's critical for managers, building a skills matrix for your team. In 2024, there's no reason to rely on outdated methods like physical boards or clunky Excel sheets to manage your team's skills. There's a much better way. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to build a digital skills matrix using Microsoft's powerful tools, Microsoft List, Power Automate, and more. This modern approach will save you time and make the whole process far more efficient. Let's be honest, keeping a skills matrix up to date can require a lot of admin work. But with a digital version, we can simplify the update process, make it more sustainable for managers, and automate tasks that were once manual. And it doesn't stop there. By digitizing your skills matrix, you can create visual reports, integrate the data with other lean tools like capacity management, and ensure your team's competencies are always up to date. Today we'll follow Grady, the maintenance manager at Evergreen Renewable Energy, as he builds a skills matrix for his team using Microsoft List. By the end of this video, you'll see how easy it is to build and manage your own skills matrix with digital tools. Let's get started. First up, Grady opens Microsoft List from the maintenance team Microsoft Teams, where he's going to create his skills matrix. As the maintenance manager at Evergreen Renewable Energy, Grady needs to keep track of his team's various competencies, whether it's electrical repairs, solar panel maintenance, or wind turbine troubleshooting. In Microsoft List, Grady starts by creating a new list. He clicks on New List and selects Blank List because he wants to build his skills matrix from scratch. Grady names the list Maintenance Team Skills Matrix and gives it a quick description, tracking technician skills and competencies for critical maintenance tasks. He chooses a color and icon that fits his department. And now, the list is ready to be customized. Next, Grady sets up the key data points he'll need to track. First, he adds a column for technician name, so he can log each team member. Then, he adds a skill name column, where he'll input the specific skill sets each technician possesses, whether it's wind turbine maintenance or electrical systems repair. Now, to track their proficiency, Grady creates a column called skill level, using the choice option. He adds four choices not trained, trained and can execute with support, trained can execute alone and can train and coach others. This will allow him to easily see who needs more training and who can handle advanced tasks. He also needs to track when each technician's skill was last evaluated. For that, Grady adds a last evaluation date column using the date option. Finally, he includes a training required column, set as a yes-no choice, so he can see at a glance who needs to be upskilled in particular areas. Now that the list is set up, Grady starts adding data for each technician on his team. He inputs names like Lydia and Magda along with their skills. Lydia, for example, is skilled in solar panel maintenance with an intermediate level while Magda specializes in wind turbine troubleshooting and is advanced in this skill. He adds the task of Lydia directly in Microsoft List, clicking on Edit in Grid View in an Excel-like experience. Once the matrix of Lydia is populated, Grady wants to ensure a better user experience for his team members, so they can update the skills matrix on their home in the future. For that, he creates a form directly from Microsoft List. He clicks on Form, and a basic form is automatically created for him. From there, he will tweak the form slightly, indicating mandatory fields like skills name and skills level. Finally, he customizes the design with the few options offered to him as default. To make sure the list is always up to date, he shares the link to the form with his team on the corresponding Microsoft Teams channel. By clicking Share, Grady can send the list to his technicians, allowing them to update their skills directly from the form as they complete new training or gain more experience. This way, the skills matrix becomes a living document constantly updated with real-time data. It's also collaborative, so technicians like Lydia can update their skill levels when they complete new certifications or courses. Grady can now use some formatting to make the matrix visually clear. He color codes the skill levels. Not trained is red, needs support is yellow, and can execute or can coach are green. This helps him quickly assess the team's skill distribution. In addition to that, Grady is keen to highlight any records that have not been updated recently. He therefore adds a rule to highlight in pink any lines that have not been updated since the 1st July 2024. Additionally, Grady can group, sort or filter by skills or technicians. For example, he groups the list to show for each skill the level of competency of each technician allowing him to identify potential gaps, judge risks for a skill, and who requires upskilling before critical maintenance operations. That way, he can clearly identify as a key dependency on Magda for solar panel maintenance, as she is the only one trained in the team 
and therefore decides to have the rest of the team trained. He can also identify that some of the skills of Pradeep have not been evaluated recently and that an update is probably overdue. Now that the matrix is ready, Grady can push reporting in Microsoft List even further in creating basic reports to track team readiness. For that, he can create pre-configured view in Microsoft Teams. For example, he creates a view that shows all technicians marked as needing training. This allows him to prioritize training efforts and ensure his team is always prepared for upcoming maintenance tasks. Each additional view that he creates are being added as a tab, so they can be selected in a click. He also decides to set up a matrix view to have a very visual view of his entire team and task. He feels that this view will be a good addition to have a helicopter view of his team. He calls this view Skills Matrix View. He selects the Show It as a board option and he decides to organize it by skill name and just like in three clicks he has set up a new and very powerful view for his team. So there you have it. Grady, Evergreen Renewable Energy's maintenance manager has built a fully functional digital skills matrix using Microsoft List in less than 10 minutes. Now, he can track the competencies of his technicians, identify training needs, and assign the right people to the right tasks. But this is just part one. In the next video, we'll look at how to automate the skills matrix updates using Power Automate so the data stays up to date without manual input and in sync with the team's training plan. And in future videos, we'll dive into visualizing the data with Power BI and creating automated reports. Finally, we will add a bit of Copilot magic to the skills matrix and see how Copilot can help managers identify gaps that they might have missed. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tips on digital lean management. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or ideas for future topics. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.